Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society reporting from Porto, Portugal. I came here to attend the basic climate science conference which was held at the Porto University. And I think it's a fabulous idea to have these kinds of conferences where you bring people together who have various insights on the dynamic system of the climate. In fact, it would be a fabulous idea if the University of Alberta, which recently gave David Suzuki an honorary award, if the University of Alberta would sponsor such a conference, or the University of Calgary, which is Canada's energy centre. Uh, when you think about the factors involved in climate change policy, most of them are committed to decarbonization. But as I told some people at the conference, we had written to the IPCC and asked them for peer-reviewed evidence showing that wide-scale deployment of wind and solar could adequately replace coal. And the answer we got back was that they didn't have any evidence to support that, even though this is a central feature of the summary for policymakers, the short document that all of your politicians are making decisions about. So uh, we think it's important that people have a broader public discussion about climate change policy, climate change science, and most of all, the energy policies that are affected by the climate change consensus view. Because these things are costing consumers a lot of money and clearly the IPCC itself has no evidence to support its claim that wide-scale deployment of wind and solar is effective in any way. For Friends of Science Society from Porto, Portugal, I'm Michelle Sterling.